In this video, we're going to take a look at aligning objects relative to one another. Um, I'm continuing from the previous video where we aligned uh, just one object relative to the page or relative to the uh, margins. But now we've got three items here and um, we've got a text box. And by the way, the default on a text box, let's go to shape format up here. And the default for that is, um, let me see. Um, I think it's it might be uh, tight or square, uh, but it does let the text wrap around it. And I've changed that so that it is in front of text, and so now I won't have the text constantly readjusting as I move things around on the screen. Uh, that's the only reason I'm doing it this way. Normally you would not put this stuff right on top of other text. So I have three objects here, and I want to start aligning them relative to one another. So to do that, I have to select the first one, and then control click for the second one, and then control click for the third one. And now I am aligning them. I've got all of them selected. And if I do my alignment options, uh, they're all going to align together. Let's go to, um, we've both got shape format and picture format ribbons up here. Uh, they both have the align option, so it doesn't really matter which one I pick. And I'm going to choose align left. And they all align to the left margin. Um, if I do align center, they align to the center of the document. If I do align right, they align to the right margin. Now, that's exactly what we were doing before, except now I'm doing it for three of them. I'm going to do a Control-Z a few times to get them kind of spread out like they were before. And if you want to align them relative to one another, um, down here we have to say align selected objects. This only appears if you have more than one object selected. Otherwise, it's going to be grayed out. So I want to align the selected objects relative to one another. Let me just double check and make sure that I got that selected. And I did. So now I'm going to align left. And they should align not to the left margin, but to the leftmost image. So let's do align left. And sure enough, they all line up on the left edge of my shape here. I'm going to do a control Z to bring them back. And now I'm going to say align them to the center. And before I do that, I'm going to just drag this over a little bit. So that's so that's you can see that it's not aligning to the center of the page, but it's going to be aligning to the center object here. So let's do align center. They align halfway between the rightmost and leftmost object. I'm going to do a control Z to bring them back. Let's do another line, and this time let's do a line right. And now they all align with their right edges, uh, aligned with the rightmost one originally. And let's do a control Z here and bring them back to where they were before. Let's do a line top. This is the topmost one. They should all align up there, and they do. Let's do a control Z. Let's do a line middle. They should align halfway between the top item and the bottom item. And a control Z, and let's do another alignment, and we'll align them on the bottom. Now they should line up with the smiley face shape down on the bottom. Okay, let's do a control Z to undo that. And... Um, Before I start this, I'm going to click off of these to deselect them, and then I'm going to uh, take this one and drag it over quite a bit further to the right here. So there's a much bigger gap here than there is down here horizontally. And now we're going to align them. Let's select all three of them. And now let's do an align to the top. Okay, so now they're all basically on the same row here, uh, but they're not spaced out very evenly. And we've got some options here to distribute them horizontally or vertically. And if I click on this, uh, the leftmost one will stay, the rightmost one will stay, and whatever's in the middle here uh, will get centered so that my gap here is equal to my gap here. I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to drag this one like down here. And I'm going to drag this one down here. So those are two pretty close together. Then I'm going to take this one. I'm going to drag it over here. And we're just going to do an align vertical. i got to select all of them again, though. Click on this one. Control click on this one. Control click on this one. And then let's go to align. And this should stay here, and this should stay here. But the picture in the middle should pull up. And it does. And so those are your alignment options work in Word 2019.